I'm joined here by Mish Tam and Julian Fritt, the actors of O3. Hi. Hello. So, you guys, this was your first introduction to open government. Yeah. And you're working for a director who's never directed before. Tell me, <laughs> how many times did you want to call your agent and be like, I love the exposure, <laughs> but really, this guy? Oh, let me tell you, that, that phone call was just always so close. Uh, but I actually didn't get my, this uh, job from my agent, so that was okay. I thought, uh, you know. Uh, but no, it was actually, I, I found it uh, for myself actually a very, uh, like, remarkably fluid uh, experience. Uh, we, Richard also uh, hired Mike onto set, who, you know, had more experience with the film craft. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, it, uh, actually, it, Richard held a good poise. I wasn't aware that he was really novice in that until, like, a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah. It helped that he had a clear vision of what he wanted. He, he was very prepared, and he knew the story. He knew what he wanted to get from us and the actors, and, yeah, so that helped the process a lot, so it's good. Yeah. What did you learn during the course of this video? Um, well, since it was kind of our first introduction to open government, open data, and open source, it just, I guess we just learned more about um, the collaborative work environment. Um, as artists, we're always working together anyway on set, rehearsals, auditions, always working with people. So it's a new perspective to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was um, it was actually it was framed really nicely with this uh, matrix type idea that it was uh, it was one thing to read it and be like oh I didn't know this was an option you know I, I didn't know that this existed and this was kind of like uh, there's such an old school way of looking at things mm -hmm. and then actually kind of going through it my character is old school so uh, but actually then going through it that was uh, yeah that was pretty opening as well and it was uh, yeah it was really great it was uh, one of a kind. Lots of sci-fi references. Mm. Um, I don't know if you can actually do the grip, but uh, I'm going to keep a little bit of distance. Yeah, man. <laughs> she can do it. You will see things, bro. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about, you know, how much of a background in sci-fi did you have for all these references? Uh, well, I, I, I think we both see The Matrix, and we both knew all the references from that. And, yeah, I think we kind of put them all together, and Richard talked to us about it. And yeah, uh, yeah, I was comfortable with that scene. I, I love the pull for the Matrix scene. I think it's very, it's, it's a fun scene to pull because it's so iconic, but I think enough time has passed and you kind of forgot about it. But you're like, oh yeah, the Matrix. That was such a you know, cornerstone of film. Uh, and then we also learned, I, I learned some new stuff on, on set about a film called Short Circuit, which I didn't know existed. Uh, so that was kind of nice. So it was nice to be around people who are a little more, I'm going to use a word in a friendly way, nerdier than I'm used to, uh, which was really good. So what was the best part of this experience for you? I'll let Julian start. Oh, great. Uh, well, I'm thinking of it. Uh, it was, um, uh, I think there was actually, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of reverting back a little bit, but oddly enough, I think for me, working with uh, people who weren't usually in film, uh, who were just kind of, you know, had some experience with it or just figuring out for the first time. That was actually really nice, which kind of sounds like maybe the opposite of what you expect. But it was just like uh, watching them learn and like appreciate it and like, you know, uh, get some of the shots and be really uh, kind of an enamored by the shots they could get. It was, kind of, it was kind of fun watching us all kind of learn about that together. That, it, kind of that nice uh, growing kind of feel to it. So it was a very unique experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think. Um with, yeah, it's nice seeing everything come together. I mean, um, you do all the pre-production, you get all your departments ready, you get your art, set, location, actors, so much work goes into um, the, before the day you start filming, you start production, and seeing it come together on set, and then even later in post-production, you see the final product. It's just, it is, it is like magic, you know, filmmaking is magic, and seeing this come together. Yeah. And what was yeah. the greatest challenge of filming this? Of filming this? <laughs> uh, for me, for me, because I'm I'm a pretty verbose dude. I like to chat, and my part was just listening, uh, which is good for me. <laughs> it's good to listen. Uh, uh, as I'm sure you know. Uh, but um, yeah, that was actually uh, the greatest challenge. And then uh, just trying to stay focused as a, a listener and help you know, my, my co-actor, Mish, like, actually you know, stay in that, that zone and, and just kind of listen throughout it. Uh, so that, as a challenge, that was an actor. For, uh, yeah, that was an acting challenge for me. He's a great listener. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the opposite of that. I had a, I had a lot of dialogue to deliver. but. Um yeah, you had 95%. You had a lot of, you, you were the, yeah. It was so much. So impressive, yeah.
And why do you think people should view this short film? Um, it's open, open government data and sources is, has been around, but not a lot of people know about it. So this is a good, fun introduction for them to get to learn more and curious, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a fun kind of uh, like it's got a good reference. It's uh, it's kind of goofy and it's got a lot of intrigue in it too. Uh, I, I would challenge anyone who watches this to not look up O3 and just learn a little bit more uh, because it's it's uh, I think the the short is well written and after seeing a first draft, I think it really gets a point across of just like uh, kind of investigating it. It's got a good interest peak. So uh, the film can be seen at Make What Not War. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.